All right, hey guys. Um, I want to first really apologize for having been gone for so long. Um, good news, actually awesome news. Um, Amy and I got married uh, back at the end of March. So that kind of took up uh, some of our time. Um, ceremony was amazing. Uh, all of our favorite people were there. <clears throat> I even had some had my mom come out from Germany. So it, it was it was a great great ceremony and a great wedding and we had a really good time. Um, afterwards spent some time with my mom um, and then uh, had some other family stuff happen which kind of took me away from right amount of campy but I'm back um, today tackling a couple of projects on the camper. It's kind of a free flow day. I don't really know exactly what I'm going to be working on. Um, I know I still have it's that stupid cabinet in the back that I need to finish up. I don't know why that's taken me as long as it has been. I need to, I can start doing wiring, I can start doing insulation. Like there's plenty of things that I can do. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go with the flow and just kind of work on stuff. And I uh, hope you'll join along. Let's get to it.
All right, cool. So now I get to kind of think about some stuff. That shelf is in place, which is good. Um, it's gonna obviously be faced and have doors and stuff on it eventually, but I don't wanna take care of that today. I'm also, it's already almost four o'clock. I'm really not in the mood to pull out the table saw and start trimming some other stuff out. So I guess what I could go ahead and do, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and start gluing in some insulation. The way I plan on doing the insulation is by using this aluminum um, insulation first and then go ahead and use styrofoam on top. Um, why? Honestly, no particular reason. Um, I have an inch space between the walls and I just want to kind of fill in as much as I can with insulation. Um, I figured the more the better, right? Uh, so what I'm going to do here is just use some spray adhesive and start getting this cut down and glued in. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and put this into the empty panel so it's not going to have any wiring in it and kind of start giving a thought as to how I want to do the wiring as well. Okay, so having done some of the front insulation, um, I think the only thing I might want to do today is just maybe put the plug-in for the kitchen 12 volt, the one that we might use for a fridge eventually. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and figure that out and go from there. So for this situation, we have one of these. Um, simple 12 volt plug, right? Nothing crazy. Um, trick is to these, get the hole large enough to fit this in 
being able to tighten this in the back. The thing, the thing about this plug though is it requires a certain thickness, right? The wall for the camper is only half an inch, which is fine, it'll attach to that, but I gotta have enough space in between here. So what'll end up happening to do this properly You just witnessed me think about something else. What if, what if, right? What if, follow me. All right. Okay, thanks for following. So, the initial idea was to put the plug somewhere in here, right? Against the wall or against the, yeah, against the wall in the cabin. Seemed like a good idea at first. But here's the thing, I need to add an additional space, about an inch and a half, almost two inches, just to accommodate the space of this plug. Normally not a problem, but I'm already pretty limited on space inside the cabin. So what I could do instead, what if I built a box and put it like here instead, against the side of the cabin? or the side of the um, kitchen galley. That way, the space it takes up is in here, not, not there. Okay, so taking measurements of this plug, this is all gonna be faced against the wall from the outside. So I need to be able to fit all of this on the inside, which is inch and a half plus. Yeah, so I need a two inch space. Take half an inch off for the plywood or for the wall itself. Still gives me an inch and a half that needs to attach to, that I need behind it. Hmm. So I have two options. I can go ahead and build a box and put it to the wall of the camper or to the side of the camper instead of the back. The problem is doing that though is I'll have to reroute the cables or I build an individual simple box. And mount this one in the cabin and the, the the front cabin plug together inside that box essentially but not take away space from the rest of the from the rest of the thing that should work yeah i think we'll do that okay all right talked a lot but i have an idea
only seems fair to go ahead and fill you guys in on the idea. So, what you see here is the plug coming in from inside the uh, main cabin, right? Well, as you can tell, I'm going to need about two inches to be able to attach to wires and everything else. What I'll do here is I'm going to put some sort of enclosure that I'm going to cover from inside the cabin um, to cover this plug as well as build in the 12 volt that I'm using inside the cabin and then use that enclosure to go ahead and keep it covered and make it look kind of pretty but not take away a bunch of leg room. Um, I'll probably go ahead and make sure there's no corners or anything on it so if we kick it we don't get hurt and stuff. As always thanks again for joining if you found value please subscribe um, hit that bell and I'll see you guys next time.